Yeah. So donate to the fucking Patreon. <clears throat> All of you who are patrons to men online, I'm sorry to break it to you, but you're basically gay. You instead put a dollar bill in some guy's bulge. That's literally what you're doing when you are a man giving other men online money. You got you a know, great bulge there today, Brandon. Sent me an article about how to make my bulge look bigger. He's that's, looking out for me. That's, that, that's real bro love. That's loyalty. I went and found the actual Getty uh, uh, photo. He's not even tucking his schlong here. I mean, he's got a you know pretty big package there. This is a joke. Exactly, Alex. A man with a penis, bulging penis. He's even got the sports enhancing testicles and Johnson. Large, flaccid genitals. He's packing an anaconda in his pants. He's got some heavy firepower. Submit to them entirely. All right, I'm Perry. This is Hidden Plain Sight. And to my right, Star of Blaze TV's primetime with Alex Stein, the one and only Mr. Brandon Steele. And uh, we return with a very Corey Christmas. You're going to have gotten him on Friday and then Patreon. And now Monday. You know, we it's, have so much. And when you have a bounty, it's you so, need to be, you know, generous well, with it, it. It's just very funny. We got very little content out of Corey and David. And then in a two week span, we got a six part deposition and David's new book, which yeah. I have been reading. It is devastating. <laughs> <laughs> like it is, it is a brutal read. It is very difficult to not, not because like it's sad. Well, I mean, it, there's, I mean, it's sad. There's multiple parts where he'll just say something. He's like, the wind stopped blowing, so I cried for 15 minutes. <laughs> what? <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that a separate day. So thank That'd be you. funny if it was just a very visceral fucking... It's nuts. I mean that in like a good way, though. It's, it's a good kind of nuts. David's uh, back on the right crazy path, I think. So uh, <laughs> thank you and fuck you, Chet, for giving me that book because I'm... It's hard to read. Like I, I've only. I been mean, able I don't to... think he's in a good space just for like prose in general, like technically speaking. But you read Awakening in the Dream, and I, I'm able to get through. Like I can do about fifty pages a day, and that's about my max before I start going a little cuckoo reading it. I'm think I think I was doing like two hundred because that book that... was so fucking long. All right, you know what? <laughs> Actually, this is revisionist history on both our parts. I looked it up. It was actually only 570-something pages. It was just so terrible that we both... It's so bad. Yeah. It's so bad. <laughs> so it's, uh, yeah, it's 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 just, just blithering nonsense. It's unhinged lunacy, and uh, it's difficult to get through. All right, that's not what we're going to talk about today, though. Today we have, this is, uh, so we did part three and four of Corey's deposition. This is the the emergency response video he yeah, put out. Yeah, so we're going to do this in part five. Yeah, he, he put this shit out right after, and I want to go down to this. I'm pretty sure he turned the comments. Yeah, the comments are are off on this video. We're, we're doing like a, when a movie starts in one time, and then right as it builds the climax, it goes forward in time, and then you see like the result. <laughs> then you're like, oh, so this goes bad. Yeah, well, I fit... Timeline wise, this checks out because I think the part three was the main the main one. The main came attraction. Out. And then he dropped this like the next day. And then we had like three more days of parts coming out after this. So this uh this is Corey trying to put a band-aid on that whole part three where he said, uh oh God, I keep forgetting the entire list. Twenty and back. I mean, not just real. Everything. Yeah. And chart, not real. Uh, Blue avians, not real. Love one, not real. Pretty much, yes, everything. I is his IP. Yes, trademark. IP or trademark. trademark. So this is a uh, Corey walking around. Can a someone trail. please make me a meme of that? I don't even use memes properly, no. <laughs> but that one I find very funny. The uh, this is this is him just wandering around a trail for some reason. Well, doing him, this. Is this what him and David used to bond over? They would just take long strolls in forest areas. I'm convinced at some point a PR person told Corey, "Hey, you know what's in right yeah. now? Nature. Nature's <laughs> well, big this summer because it it makes it come across as like nonchalant. Is like, oh, he didn't even think this was important enough to set up a studio and record. Yeah, this. look like, how he's spur out, of the moment I am. Yeah, he's just out there walking around, you know, talking. <sighs> That's a funny caption. The, the last three were on Molly's. So I wish that was true. <laughs> I wish. Hi, Corey Good here. I'm rolling. I'm fucking high as a kite. I don't know what 
trail I'm on. Damn, here. this trail is so beautiful. <laughs> Molly's feet got cold, so Stacy took her to the car. I have to have spikes on right now because it's so icy. <clears throat> Please follow Dork. your ass. Dork. This is my burial ground where I keep my many victims so I can revisit their corpses and further defile them. Do notice the haircut. He seems to have taken criticism. Oh, he, he definitely saw himself and was like, I look terrible. Yeah, I think he, Even if he thought it went well, he was like, I gotta get a haircut. I think he, he took a note that his, his Jerry, Curl, Jerry Curl mullet was not flying. No one yeah. was gonna listen to a man who looked like that. The grease mullet was yeah. not convincing. <laughs> Fucking Curtis Blow with a mullet. Yeah, it's the terrain I'm going over. I've got... David would be like, oh my God, the squirrels built me a path. bust my ass. This old guy fell in a very similar spot. What's with you and David arrived. falling? He was okay, though. Maybe because they're not <sighs> paying attention to where they're walking. That's just true. They are always recording themselves. <laughs> I'd give anything to see David's okay. outtakes. So today, I guess... I think his book is his outtakes. A chat. No doubt many of you have seen the leaked deposition video. Oh, we have. From my one of my lawsuits. The elite deposition have, video. What an <laughs> odd way to describe it. I have a racketeering lawsuit. A racketeering Gaia lawsuit? I'm he, 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 he think this keeps, is the fucking mob? <laughs> he keeps referring to the, the Gaia lawsuit as a Rico, a Rico lawsuit, but it's it's a civil lawsuit. No, my lawyer's name is Rico. <laughs> They're not they're not going to prison. Oh, of course there's, not. It's there's a, no. It's this isn't this isn't a fucking judicial court. Yeah, it makes no sense. I think he just again he just hears words and latches onto them. Once again, he's a very dumb man. Tremendously dumb. Yes. And, <clears throat> individuals that they conspired with uh, for trademark theft. For cyber stalking. He's really just going to say, fuck it, I'm going with the trademark. It'll actually make me money. You notice he's kind of already out of breath. Oh, yeah. He's kind of, he's yeah. huffing a puff a little, little oh, weird I first. also like that he waited to do this until his wife left. Like, yeah. what, does he not want to incriminate her? <laughs> yeah, he's just going to go hide out. Uh, it, odd for a super soldier, you know, to uh, run out of breath two steps into a trail. Well, you know, he has super cancer now. <laughs> Intellectual property theft. And genuinely just being asses well that's not a legal term yes, the classic legal legal intellectual <laughs> property which the lawsuit made them over 300 million dollars he's sticking to that okay all right damn dog i think we would know if gaia made that much fucking money well i think uh, his argument for those who didn't see the previous uh portion of the deposition is that gaia's stock price went up and then he did some like fucking napkin math where he's like it started here it went here so multiply those two together I'm three hundred million dollars. I'm to thank for yeah. all of that. You owe me money. And I have a lawsuit against them and some of my old partners. Um, we had some issues with our old partners. David Wilcock had part issues with them. Was the issues they wouldn't let they you take the money? Really, yeah, I th I they think noticed you had all the money, and they're like, "Hey." Do you have all the money? Like, whoa, chill, bro. I think David's issues go far beyond whatever, well, whatever David, this is. David is broken, like, in yeah. a different way. Corey's fucked. Someone had to remind me that one of the previous parts we covered, he said he got, like, raped by aliens, and then they gave him a banana sandwich. I had forgotten he, about he that. Would, no, he was a banana sandwich. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, no, it's worse. It's a, that's the crazy thing about it is you're like, oh, uh, what's the crazy thing I think of? Like, oh, no, it was worse no, no, than that, actually. No, no, it's actually crazier. Yeah, no, he got violated as a banana sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the just... It's the way the, the sandwich crumbles. That is textbook sure crazy. And doing other things. You know what I love about nature? No blacks. That are <laughs> outlined in our lawsuit. Can you imagine if you were just hiking on a trail and this guy's talking about his lawsuits into a camera? Oh, I once again, I'd be convinced he's so, going to like his uh, his yeah, burial ground, tried yeah. to where he keeps his victims. And uh, they just how, kept giving us the middle finger. How do you settle a racketeering lawsuit? Do I you, mean, do you just, I guess do they a just huge, mess up? I guess a huge sum paid to you. I think that's Corey's ultimate goal for everything. It seems like. I, it, I think in his mind, he thinks he's just going to get paid. The way he's coming across in that de deposition is that uh, financial 
like gains are going to cover any problem. Oh, of course, of course, yes. No, he's holding out on that. Yeah, I don't think there's any like moral recompense to deal with. He just everything is money. A bunch of emotional reactionary stuff. So finally, you mean the the incriminating part? And uh, they responded with an 18-page extortion letter. Is that what they call it? And that was delivered by Roger Richards. Uh-huh. And, uh, the murderer, according they to They threatened David Sick. Wilcock and I that if we didn't hand over our ownership to you the You guys have to secret, make out on camera. And <laughs> well, I'll leak your nudes. <laughs> that they were going to destroy <laughs> us and basically our marriages and... Well, well, they're we, one for two. That's not bad. I didn't know bad. we worked. Do we need to send yeah. these guys a bill? Yeah, Roger Richards Excuse owes me? us some money. Services tendered. <laughs> I <laughs> need, I need compensation here. Let us in on this racketeering charge, Your we, Honor. Your Honor, yeah, we were uh, hired by the the defendant here to to help destroy this person's life. The the, the Dark Alliance needs oh, to pay us. Really horrible. Um, they That'd be a pretty uh, Dark Alliance Operative is a pretty slick title. I would love a check David from Wilcock the Dark and Alliance. Together in California I hear they pay good. The Ginny <laughs> and that they don't work on Saturday. McCarthy <laughs> show. And we were celebrating our birthday. And they sent the threat to us on our birthday. Classy. Our birthday? Fucking and communist. Then, you know, we finally, we gave Gaia three years to settle. But they just kept All we asked for was $50 million. Dollars. I don't see what the big uh, deal was. And People accuse them of fucking kids on the way out well, you know. in a giant and letter. I can't judge others for claiming someone's a pedophile. Well, I it, kind of lost that card. <laughs> that is, you know, fair enough. I'm but not a hypocrite, usually. At least we understand what we're doing. He doesn't yeah, understand. No, we he's live clueless. In, we exist in, like, this silly realm. Everything's yeah. kind of silly over here. He yeah. really thinks he has a Rico case against Gaia. And then on the way out, he was like, you all worship Satan and fuck kids. See, he's, Now, where's my money? He's what happens when retards don't know they're stupid. My episodes down off the network and promoted these other people as if it was their well, you intellectual left. property. Mm-hmm. And encouraged the whole community to come out and make money off of being a secret space program insider. No, you don't say. <laughs> you know, and I, I had warned everybody... Uh, way back 2015 that I wasn't going to be assassinated or taken out in any way what uh, I was told uh, was that well that's that's unfortunate yeah my information once I delivered it they would just do what happened due to his cold do the well same you could thing stop fucking walking dude the super soldier community yeah he's allowed and to be inside know, well he says in this. the late 80s we had some real genuine super soldiers come out we most certainly did not they delivered their their stories and information, and it was it was very interesting stuff. Sure. Well, very shortly after that, you started having hundreds of people going to conferences called Super Soldier Conferences. Well, that's not very, it's it's not very secretive. Yeah. When most of them couldn't even swat a fly. It was ridiculous, uh, but... He says as he's huffing and yeah. puffing. Hold on. <laughs> oh, these guys. They're so fucking slow. We're and, really out of and, shape. <laughs> They can't even crush a mile. I was told by the SSP Alliance that that's what was going to happen to my information, that they were going to have it was his a nudes. bunch of super soldier type people come in. And they have all the be... super soldiers nudes. Now, now, the obvious problem with what, he, uh, what he's claiming here is he admitted it was all a lie. Yeah, he's got a really fascinating disconnect going on. Because now he's, he's going back to saying his SSP connects... The secret space program does not exist anymore. No, no. It is, he has erased it from his universe. By Based sa- on his own his own word. Anshar, not real. 20 yeah. and back, not real. Blue avians, not yeah. real. He's never been to space. No, no. So if, if, if you don't go to space, how do you have a secret space program? He went to the Space Museum once. Yeah. <laughs> uh, secret Natural space History, history Museum. Museum. Space Museum Sires. is pretty cool. And then just delude and dilute the information that I delivered, which is exactly in my comic, which you should all go by right now. <laughs> but the community just wants stories, so they invited the people in, you know, telling me, Corey, says the guy this selling is their a truth. comic book. When someone says my truth. You can't assail it. Um, they're saying that they had the same experiences as you, 
and you need to let them tell their stories. No, they didn't. Well, those are my experiences. No, because I like made this all much. up. <laughs> them but, going there uh, is ridiculous, but me. That is a hell of a catch-22 to find yourself in, is other yeah. people come out to, like, validate what you've been saying. Well, he didn't realize ha- that he made the story too broad. Right, and, and it's it's a hell of a problem to have where you know all these other people are, are lying, lying, yeah, but you only know it you know because what? you're lying. No, they're telling the truth. Yeah. They're telling the truth for sure. Oh, now? Yeah, no, they, they were lying. Community. They're fucking lying the whole time. And I warned them also in 2017 that infiltrators were going to start a hell war. Hell yeah, dude. Because everyone... Nice. To, to be at each other's throats. I think that was just you realizing you and David were going to get caught no fucking everyone listened. over at some point. <laughs> they had to know this jig was going to be up soon enough. Played into it. All of the uh, communities gossiping and all of that just really got out of hand. Did you we? cheating on your wife with someone you work with is kind of gossip worthy. Uh, I will say that. You know uh, That has nothing to do with him being a liar. <laughs> but... I'm kind of strange. How would he think, now I'm angry, how would he think the community <laughs> wouldn't gossip? The entire community is based on his story. <laughs> yeah, Everyone dude. found out it's it's full of lies. Yeah, you just admitted it was total shit. And then you're cheating on your wife, too. <laughs> what part of that are we not supposed to gossip about? That's unimportant. From the conversation. Honey, that was just gossip. You said it um, under oath. So I <laughs> yeah, gossip. I had to say that. That is the worst place to have to admit to cheating on your wife is the court of law. I saw you say it in the courtroom. When Um, you can go to jail for lying. uh, (laughs) After I brought the partners to court, they, like, three three to five days before Christmas, classy, joined in with this slimy Matthew Mornian guy Mm -hmm. and did this. The irony of you calling someone slimy. (laughs) Where they carried out all of their extortion threats. Oh, I think he's he's they referring to the, tell, uh, what was it, the, the Corey Good Accountability Project that came out. Oh, right. Fuck, I forgot about that. There's been, I haven't heard that one in a minute. Look, there, there's been a lot of bad things that have <laughs> happened to Corey. He's kind of been thoroughly debunked prior to this. It's just he now... Just, it's just he didn't have to do it under oath. Right. This is the first time we've heard it come out of his mouth. That, yeah. that whole Corey Good Accountability thing, we heard it come out of... Everyone, everyone, is, yeah. everyone who worked with him had a story to tell, but now he's kind of trapped. It seemed like Kanye, where this might have been the case the whole time. We just didn't yes. know. Yes, community yeah. that I um, was a serial abuser of women and a pedophile. Have a call to action for women to come together and create a class action lawsuit Got against me. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Accuse me of being a drug addict, <laughs> uh, alcoholic. Mm-hmm. Oh. That I practice black magic. Well, how offensive. That was the one thing he was actually mad about. The he deposition. would never. He would never use the dark arts. No. Everything. Because they're black. Everything was fake except for black magic. He was very clear on yeah. black All magic. He hates voodoo. As it turns out. As usual. So, Leon Isaac Kennedy, famous black actor. Famous and, black why actor. Why would he have to add black Who? One. By a long shot. I don't think Leon's particularly famous. I couldn't name one and, thing he's uh, been there. So, you know, the lawsuit continued. Um, after my deposition, which Leon Isaac Kennedy leaked, uh, there was a federal protective order on it. So Too late. Tomorrow, Doesn't no, matter. Wasn't. Doesn't His matter. It's already out. The judge facing possible sanctions. Nothing came but of they that don't as care. far as I'm aware. Of they course they not. They're not going to fucking show mercy to this um, buffoon. <laughs> you know, they released a par- portion of the... Uh, See, this is how you know it came out like right after that other part. He didn't know they were going to leak the, like, the entire yeah, He thought that was it. This point. Yeah. They hit him with a Twitter file. So he was just like, they fuck. Was most who could have seen me? this coming? But uh, they held back the parts where we talked about our cyber investigation. They did not. Those those parts are out. No, they didn't so at all. What we found out about the collusion and criminality in the community. Corey had nothing to add on those parts for what it's worth. He had nothing worth uh, no. talking about. He just said he was looking into it. Yeah, community. look, I checked. Maybe. It's stunning. It's stunning. So stunning, you couldn't and, speak about uh, it. They left out recording. It'd be funny if he got lost because he wasn't paying reports, attention yeah. while he was talking. But and just, die, a cliff. just dies in the fucking freezing forest. This is his by a bear. This is his last <laughs> video. It'll just be on camera like that dude who got that Asian dude who got stabbed. All I can <laughs> <say is> that. 
we've <laughs> known for a while. I still will laugh you know, anytime I see that fucker's face. Uh, Rest in peace. We were gonna be in court, and they were, and the opposing attorneys were going to try to completely discredit me by asking if I have talked. They're going to completely discredit me by, by asking me about uh, the thing I'm most famous for. By checking their story. To eight foot tall blue chickens. They would and, never be eight feet tall. Uh, if I lived on feet. Mars and that type of thing, in a, in a court of law. So just everything you claim. That's okay. Yeah, we'll listen. In a court of law, delusional. <laughs> yes. Did he just make a dick sucking motion? Yeah, I think he was saying he had to blow the judge. No, uh, that was a that was a stamp, a rubber stamp. To be honest, he might want to try. It's not going to end well a- for him. Anything at this point, yeah. he's going to throw a hail mary. And one of the things that they're counting on is that if I did claim all of this stuff that they would be able to what do you mean label if me you as, did yeah, claim all you of it. did what are and you then, talking about uh, of course do you think he's literally just gonna go with kind of like the donald trump just he's never going to admit he said what he very clearly said on video i think i it, think he might be trying just like i'm just not gonna talk about it yeah that's absolutely what he's banking on here is he's hoping the majority of the people who follow him aren't going to watch the deposition yeah. so he can then be like well, they hit all the stuff that would have defended me. Yeah, or and only talked about the the part where I admitted everything was a lie. Or they're dumb enough to be like, no, he had to lie to the to the judge and admit to it on camera because that's perjury. That's what the move should have been. He should have gone. With but I don't the, think like, he can because then he's implicating himself as a perjurer. Yeah, there's no true. <laughs> the only real win here is yeah, I guess right. what he's doing. Just be like yeah. I'm just not going to talk about it. Yeah, that's true because if it what is true position? and he's telling him it's not <laughs> true, then that's a lie. That now, footage could have been doctored. Who knows? Yeah. It's very difficult to trademark delusions trademark. and dreams. And, yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> an accurate that description. Sort of I would say. Hello. Oh Jesus! He did run into someone. Oh, I'm no. gonna kill them later. This is supposed because to be my trail. No witnesses. Anybody can have the same delusion. So how can you trademark it? How I mean, I guess. So that's well, what you have to have merch. That's interesting. So that's why he said specifically it was part of like his meditative state instead yes. of it being part of a dream. Because I guess yes. you can't trademark the, the contents of a dream, but your special meditative practice. Well, that would be silly. Can. It'd be silly if you did it to a dream. <laughs> yeah. Foolish. That's, that's just dumb. You know, yeah. Corey's not like dumb. I mentioned in a another recent Where is he walking? Man, all of a no one knows. He's really busy on this trail. He's just wandering about. Come on, photo bomb his video. <laughs> not exactly sure what I was going to say. Well, he got he got excellent memory. He got flustered with his brilliant mind. Well, I can yeah. tell you this. Leon Kennedy's After a boop. <laughs> and I know that Kennedy for sure. That video. And over 30,000 people saw it. We lost close friends, people we worked with. What? And followers in the community. Oh, I, I think I think he said, you know, the damage that that oh. video did to him. That makes sense. Yeah, I would hope so. Yeah. Not one of <laughs> Jesus Christ, I hope that's enough. Why would they have to ask if what you swore in a court of law was true was true? What? Why would you? Because they know he's that big a liar. Yeah. Why? Why would you have to do that? That hey, doesn't make any fucking sense. Was it true? True or just yeah. like you know true? Or one true. of those true lies? Yeah. Not one. As a matter of fact, mm-hmm. after Leon asked people to do a class action lawsuit on me for sexually abusing <laughs> women, Leon was gonna meet to you. I received emails from women in the community. Who wanted to be my next alleged victim? In a what? Emails. Damn, these fucking crystal chicks is freaking bro. Throwing themselves God at damn it! They've they're like, no, can you rape and murder me <laughs> next? That's so fucking hot, you crazy and ladies. We love you. I hope ago, I hope you get murdered this Christmas. That are now working with Dr. Just Sala. like you fantasized. <laughs> very, very sad. Which I just imagine them being like, oh, this isn't as fun as I thought. <laughs> yeah, it's all um, awful. Oh, the dying! I didn't know about the dying. <laughs> or one person through Facebook chat that 
told me well, you just Facebook chat, you I didn't fucking match loser. my story to everyone else's, they were going to call me delusional and that they were going to take over the SSP narrative. He's very sensitive about being called delusional, other people. which is funny for a delusional person to get in that spot. When you come out with a story as delusional as his and maintain for six plus years how factual it is, it... It, I mean, delusional should be like the last thing it, this, you're worried about. This, this is point. delusional. This video just straight up being like, uh, never happened. This is ridiculous. Okay, I'm being, you know, maligned. The thought of, yes, him thinking he can somehow wiggle out of a six-hour videotape deposition. It's, where It's as damning as anything could possibly where, be. Where he admits literally everything people have been accusing him yeah. of for, for years. Yeah. The fact that he thinks he can wiggle out of that is delusional. Yeah, it's insane. Uh, or they were just going to take it over by validating each other and just cutting me out uh, of the entire um, narrative. So I started which is suing. What did. So I and found me a lawyer. They told me and that then I lost a lot of money. Corroborating stories that the community needed hopeful stories. And? I wondered how many times have public figures come together quietly in the background and corroborated. Is he saying the, the powers that be in the UFO like community this. came to him and were like, "Hey, you and David need to do happier shit. People need some joy right now. Can you?" Can you give him something to hold on to? It's a little bit of that, and also he's realizing that because he tried to do all this, you know, trademark shit when he tried to. What were there were a few words he tried to like claim as his own. I think he tried to. There were a few stupid ones. I remember he tried that. to like trademark secret space program and disclosure and like some other some other yeah, shit. Basic that just words. Made no sense. Yeah. So he's. I think he was most amazed by the fact. That other liars would look at him making a bunch of money off his lies, and they would team up to to. It's kind of a brilliant plan, in, in how simple it is is you know he's lying, so you just get five people yeah. who are also willing to lie. But those those five people all say they're telling yeah. the truth, but Corey's lying. It's a fucking conspiracy pyramid scheme. It really is. We it's found a, the multi level marketing scam of the UFO community. It was. Hard to believe this turned out to be a scam. Yeah, moment. who would have thought? Devastating. Who could have seen and this coming? People I told. Earth shattering. It, the community was that compromised. So, I'm sitting in the deposition. Uh -huh. We know there's video. Profusely sweating. Things. Yeah, there's hours and hours, hair. hours of video. Uh, various people in the community want to be able to make money off of my IP and information. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and then everybody wants to shame me for making money off of it. <clears throat> no, no, we, we shame the line. Part. Yeah, dude, I don't give a Super fuck critical. how much money you made. In fact, bravo, that's yeah. an inspiration to everyone out there. If this retard can do it, so can you. I'm never going to shame someone who found out how to just lie and get paid yeah. millions of dollars. You tell me David made five million off one course? That's fucking awesome. He's going to be able to go insane for quite a while. Yeah, it's not the money we're upset about. It's it's more so everything else you were doing to, to get to where you were. Yeah, the corruption. There's a lot of hypocritical, self-righteous bullshit. Well, the that irony. is an ironic <laughs> thing to say, yes. <laughs> Fucking and irony. Jesus Christ. Don't get me wrong. About 60, 70% of the community is... Gay. Uh, wonderful. Their love, light, all of the things they claim. Damn, dude, 40% is a lot of the community. It's, it's that's, almost damn near half. that's almost half, man. That's not a good sign. No, it's... Problems. Are literally it's a terrible bad in a lot of cases. But I feel like we cause more problems than our percentage represents. This motherfucker claiming that other people are mentally ill. Yeah, you guys are fucking crazy. Is. Knock it off. Now, about the time I lied in court about the blue chickens, yeah. look. <laughs> They were going to put me away. Of course. Of course I hang out with blue chickens. I had to lie. Space. Yeah, of course I've been to the moon. <laughs> They're just opportunists. They're Be silly to think otherwise. And to make money. So, this was basically a coup d'etat <laughs> over Naturally. the secret space program. Naturally. <laughs> what an over-the-top thing. This was a space coup d'etat. <laughs> they overthrew me from back, my empire. I came you know what's going on in Iran right now? It's like, Same dude, haven't you been, like, retired for 80 years? Um, and then I came out unnamed in the beginning on Project Avalon. You sure did. And 
par for course for Lied this there for too. community. Everyone that couldn't control me and my narrative then tried to destroy me. Bill Ryan. Ain't that how it goes. Out in, uh, down in Central America, you know, sent Who? all of his people to harass me at my home. I believe uh, in the deposition, the what, football coach? what actually happened was uh, Corey sent that dude to go take pictures of Bill Ryan's house. He you remember shot? that guy? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's actually what happened. This is Corey's version of that. Look, I was just trying to threaten him. What's where, the big deal? Where So in court, when he has to tell the truth, he's the one who sent people to go uh, take photographs and video yeah. this dude. Now when he's on the hiking trail, that dude's the one who sent people to take pictures of him. Now tell me where the law it says threatening someone's illegal. Yes, unless Kay. what you knew, uh, unless you knew what you did was horribly wrong why would you then put your actions onto someone else to make them look bad yeah it's because you know it makes you look bad yeah yeah home and harass me online oh dear god he harassed online pussy as tyler the creator said just turn off the turn, fucking turn it off just turn off the laptop turn off your phone you don't have to read online harassment it's no one. No one breaks into your room and just shouts tweets at you. No, did you know you could read a book a day for yeah. the amount of tweets you read? Yeah, you don't. You don't have to uh, engage in any of that. And Kids don't read books these days. They're the all time, gay now. They'll read lovely, David lady, Wilcox's Christine book. Who knew LGBTQ would correlate with uh, illiterate in. idiots? And because she was taking my side, he literally threatened to kill her, and she has said this literally on mm. video herself. Which will be on our reality TV. It'd show be funny if he's like, I'm going to fucking kill you. And he was like, Do you know who I am? I'm part <laughs> so of this secret fled. space she program. We don't leave Marines behind. And fled to Mexico. What a story. His I'm wife scared. stole his gold and fled to Mexico. This is what yeah. I want to do one day. It's like an uncharted plot. Uh, if I'm going to Mexico, I'm going with gold. Her. Carrie Cassidy. She's the one that outed me. She tried to Hell yeah, me dude, is being gay. Girl, Carrie. Fuck yeah, yeah Carrie. That's yeah. why you're our first lady. The first lady of Space Weirdo Friday. Fucking Outen, Carrie Cassidy. Out in his fool. Tried to get me to validate one of her other insiders. That oh, has, to it has to be Mark it Richards. Has Richards. has to be Mark Put Richards. has to be Mark Richards. He said he had a fucking will. biological <laughs> ship. Can you guys no believe this shit? Who I am. Minerva. Right now, he didn't. Carrie, Carrie was like, you're fucking lying, and you queer. I had to threaten her YouTube channel and also damn, dare you damn the, dude uh, the video she put up with my being litigious is gay bro yeah, stop it terrible stop it you're not, at least David has the decency to just go insane why is he out there threatening litigate it's it, again it's project Camelot look dude the lockdowns broke more people than we're willing to admit it, we're all broken a little bit because of two years if there's one thing you're gonna, you know, you're gonna get from the Project Camelot YouTube page, which I guess doesn't exist anymore because she went a little Q crazy for a bit there. She she said some things. The one thing Project Camelot is is not known for is its uh, truth, the veracity of its claims. It's not why we went there. No, I, in fact, I don't I don't know that I've ever heard a true statement come from Project Camelot. If Project Camelot want to talk, that's the best platform to shit talk you because no one's gonna believe yeah, it. Yeah, that's a good one. They'll be like, ah, carries on one again. Yeah, if someone wants to accuse me of something, I pray to God it's Carrie Cassidy. In her melting she, face. She tried to discredit me too once she couldn't control me. It that was a girl. Up, up the line. Every single one, including my partners. If they can't control me, what? if they can't steal from you, You're, you mean like your, your sex partners? That's how it is. I wish. It's like, so, if this bitch steals from so me, I will kill mind, her. I'm sitting in the chair. All of these people are stealing my sex information. Everyone oh. is trying to not only steal it, but they're trying to destroy my I good name. I think he's saying this is what's going through his bullshit. head during the deposition. My God, they're None trying to ruin his true. image. Or, in some cases, He looks like exaggerated. a forest ranger that got transferred after killing a minority. So <laughs> it it does chair. look like the beginning of a shitty like, uh, yeah. AMC movie. Or like whatever he that. accidentally shot an unarmed teen in Chicago. Now he has to work in the fucking forest service. These are the type... The videos that, that pop up after a crime occurs where it's like, we should have seen this coming. Yeah, oh my God, why wasn't the FBI watching? Yeah. Where was he? Was he in Idaho when the, a few weeks ago? When the blue chicken guy kills everyone. These are, these are all going to make a lot more sense. Does he drive a white Toyota? And, you know, where I start lying. The community and I just keep lying. Six straight hours. Actually, he wishes he lied. Me I'd rather face uh, perjury than look as bad as he did. 
organizers. I mean, he thought it wasn't going to come out. Everyone. That's true. That's true. That was the fatal mistake he made. This, it's really not even how he handled it. It's just that he thought no one's going to see it. Well, I mean, that's how we know what he said is 100% the truth. Yeah, he, he was, he was uh, open. He was under the impression that whatever he said could not be used against him within yeah. this context. Yeah, it was going to help. If there was ever a time where he would be under no pressure to lie, it was in the situation he thought he was in. Yeah. Oh. Whoops. About me. Uh, or about about being, uh, having the same experiences as me. So, you know what? It's true. You, I guess. What? It is hard to trademark delusions, <laughs> but... I, I can't tell if he's like understanding have, these things in real time. Everyone in court, that I did create this information, and by like criticizing these people, he's real he's realizing like, oh god, I'm full of shit too. Well, so I think this what what he just said is what he was kind of trying to do in the deposition. He's saying this information is based on his real life, but I think it's only based on his real life. Well, yeah, that. he really meditated. Yeah, well, I, <laughs> anything that comes out of my mouth is based on my real life because technically it came from my brain, yeah. which exists in real life. So I think yeah. that's the technicality he's trying to go for. I mean, for. unless he's got like divine writing abilities. You also notice how much he just stops walking during this? I think he realized he was tired. Yeah, he keeps he keeps He's, going like 10 feet and then he just stops. And then he realized he was out of breath and was like, this sounds terrible. Uh, He's just spinning. That just walks like his life. As it's a metaphor, my man. My trademark, my intellectual property. Trademark. And we know, I dude. Did, I you mentioned can, it a few times. I will now pursue everyone out there who is stealing or profiting off of my stolen Hell yeah, IP. dude. Event organizers. <laughs> Get your stolen you IP back, bro. Give me those thoughts. Charging tickets. How dare you think my thoughts. My terms and, and mimicking my testimony, you could find yourself in a lawsuit. Ooh. You know, some of the people that... I'm representing my court, ourselves in court if he, he sues us. He's really fucking nuts. To be... He's, he's currently involved in two lawsuits. And now he's saying... I'm going, even if I lose these, I will, I will continue to sue. I'm just going to keep fucking suing. Yeah, I don't feel like, I feel like having a lawyer would be too easy. I want, I, I want to represent myself in court. Be like, no, your honor, I know this is a bad idea, but yeah. I want to make this interesting. It would be fun. Yeah. Are uh, the LARPs have written books. If you've written books about Dark Fleet, you need to take the book down. Suck my dick. edit it and remove all of my trademark. Blow me, <laughs> Ta- you uh, fucking forest phrases. ranger. And information or mentions of me. Suck I've my dick. This is this is my life story. I it really happened. I am not recanting anything. That's, that's yeah, not we what know you said. We know you're not recanting. You just confirmed everything. Yeah. Does he think he denied I it in that interview? Yes. My disclosure. I think he might I not actually me. remember what he said, my to be life. honest. What he's saying this with such certainty that like either he genuinely does not remember what he said, but it's like, I would never admit to it. I'm not stupid. I, he, and then the video's there, and he just hasn't watched it. He may be trying to go with, like, this is all a tremendous misunderstanding. Yeah, no, like, the no, whole no. time I was talking about my meditations not actually being there. Yeah, they just didn't understand. I mean, that's one way to go for it, I guess. I think his argument is that we were all wrong the entire time. It's our fault we didn't understand that he was talking about his... His, his meditations. His meditations. We should have known that. That's right. true. My story. How dare we? Despite him you can't never just claiming that. Walk into a community and see someone and and hear their story and say, "Hey, you know what? I can tell a really good story," and go I mean, in and make nah, their story and start can. making money off of it. You did a name for yourself and not give them credit for it. Not it, what do it, you mean? That's this is like exactly what you did. You guys stole from Marvel works. movies. And I know there are plenty of people in the community that do not believe. So I respect and Grandma Chandra. Her fucking ruse system. is up front. You can tell but it's a fucking ruse. You know it's a terrible on. thing to do. <laughs> you but you're you're at you're at a bad point in life, and it's like fuck it. I'm gonna let this dolphin-looking fish girl shoot a blue la- <laughs> a green laser at me. It really is a terrible thing to do. It's horrific. <laughs> it's it's, really... it's still what like it's still uh. the, might be the most horrific thing we've seen anyone in this community do is the abuse. 
that poor child is fucking going through. What she's doing is like if someone did that with Terry Schiavo back in the day. Yeah, like it's just it a is. clearly brain dead individual. Yeah, like if or if someone just like had fucking uh Stephen Hawking, but he didn't yeah. have any way to talk and you just talked for him, like, yeah, yeah that's pretty much this. Every time he groaned. Yeah. You cannot is he crying? go to a truth. I think he's trying to spread a bunch of lies about someone with the motive. I gotta keep my eyes open so I can get some water so in them. You can steal their intellectual property Hold and on. make millions of dollars mm -hmm. off of it. That is illegal and it's unethical. Dude, shut up. That's what All you're that trying to I'm do. Yeah. About didn't happen from the cabal. It's not you like know? you're suing because you um, think it's a civic duty. It happened from the love and light community. Suppose love and light community. Well, they like were said, uh, doing a little too much awesome. loving to the but money. Not yeah. policing the thirty to forty percent. We will never be policed, you fucking loser. Intellectual property, spreading gossip, backstabbing, causing all the problems. I will you spread. You fucked your assistant. I will spread as much <laughs> gossip as um, I can. He's not really in a, a morally superior position. Well, in his mind, he is. He, uh, I mean, it's remarkable. He's. Psychotic. Yeah, he's a psychopath. Like yeah, he's, he. I mean, I guess you know, maybe a we, sociopath we more accurately. But right. he's. Yeah, he's got a severe cognitive disability. It's the yeah the absolute inability to take in the facts of the situation and change based on that. First of all, he should not have put out this video. Oh no, this was a poor decision. This is a there's I a see, reason the comments are off. I see why he, he had to wait till his wife left because he's probably trying to do this. Just like please, yeah, please don't fucking God. do the video. I, the lawyer said not to do this because chances are a lot of his people, like fans of him, were completely unaware of the deposition even coming out. That's true. So he probably the only blew the thing, lid. Yeah. The only thing this would serve to do is then make all of the people subscribed to the Sphere Being Alliance page where he put this out. Then aware Oops. that there's a deposition. Whoops. Decision. I am going to claim all of this, all of my life story as my intellectual my property life. and enforce it heavily. Heavily. Um, and we're moving on from the community. Um, Ooh. I am taking. He's taking his talents to Rumble? Yep. Life story and intellectual property. I love that. He, I actually do like this. He's like, you know what? Fuck it. It's my intellectual property. <laughs> And I'm just going to go with that because it's the only way to make money. This community hates me. Well, I think I mentioned in one of the other parts, I believe it was this video where he, he owns up. He's like, the Alliance lost. I'm not. Or, or whatever it <laughs> what was. What a funny but, fucking thing to say. Yeah. Hey, guys, I, hate, I don't know how to tell you this, but they fucking lost. Yeah, the whole, the Sphere Pink Alliance lost. It's over. It's over, folks. Video games, books, and feature films. Can you imagine how it's terrible a Corey Good video game would be? Hardcore pornography. <laughs> Of different alien failed. species they fucking. Did. I don't have anything to do with politics anymore. Could have uh, made that decision a few years ago. Some of them, a retired general and, and some of his team are going to actually do a, a television show with us to where I send real life mercenaries led by a retired what? NATO general to track down Bigfoot. What? All right. To be honest, that kind of sounds like a sick plot. That does sound pretty I'm cool. I'm going to be honest. Like, I'm going to go find fucking retired Marines and mercenaries, a NATO general, and we're going to go fucking shoot Bigfoot. <laughs> some uh, people want to catch cool him. We want to fucking I'm kill him. My oh, yeah. We're going to go get some. <laughs> All right. This is a really funny audience. skit now that I think about it. Uh, a bunch of fucking mercenaries being hired like, to go murder Bigfoot. A bunch of Blackwater mercenaries going to kill Bigfoot. All coming up on it. Coming up on History Channel, Hunt for Bigfoot. These yeah, mercenaries led by a NATO Marine are going to go kill this fucking monster. Yeah, we could do monster hunters, but like for real, yeah. where they're trying to kill them. Did they shoot a hairy black guy or is this finally Bigfoot? Uh, the Art Bell episode. Be so crazy. I'm sorry. Crazy. Dog, you, you're, you can't get less crazy. It don't work like that. So pretty much that's really all I have to say other than to the people I have lawsuits with. Fuck people you. in the Rico suit. <laughs> the, uh, every time he says it, this is going to go all the way. I mean, he's so dumb. He doesn't even know what lawsuits I he's have, filed. Uh, cyber reports. I have no worries whatsoever going into this case. No worries. And CW Chanter. Damn, I want to. I want to name drop on one of the, on a Corey video. So what do I got to accuse him of? Moved to New Jersey, and we're going to pursue his ass there. Yeah, you would pursue his ass, you fag. Going he's just, he keeps saying, he's like, even if I lose here, yeah. I'm just going to keep on suing. He's turning to Donald Sterling. He's like, I'm just going to fucking keep suing people till I run out of money. Yeah. To <laughs> pursue him 
until the very end. You don't get to call yourself a critic while Ah, uh, David, this is the perfect time for you to reemerge. To actually destroy Corey looks like shit. You could come out and be like, look, I might be crazy, but at least I'm telling the truth. <laughs> it's my it's truth, all, but it's yeah. the truth. So Gaia could keep my, making money off of my IP. Gaia could suck a dick. Lumps, which I protest. I want a fucking this tape intro. So, and Roger Richards. He could get it too. <laughs> you refuse to show up to your deposition after accusing me. That's power yeah, move. That's the whole... Everyone in this community, listen when they accuse somebody of something, because that is what they're doing. He really is going to snap and kill someone. Yeah, he's not... He seems angry. This is... Uh, this David man, is sad, because it's yeah. like, ah, uh, he's not doing well. This is like, oh, God, someone get him a Xanax. He might strangle his wife. David has... Uh, Broken from reality. He is. Yeah. He David's is no longer in this realm. He is only. <laughs> his bank account is the only thing separating him from a mental institution. Being a literal homeless person, yes. Yes, he is fucking. He's cuckoo he's nuts. Up. <laughs> he's gone, dude. He is, when he's, he opens his mouth, a cuckoo bird. Just he's, comes become, up. he's become UFO Howard Hughes. Corey, on the other hand, is, is psychotic. It's, yeah. it's a very different thing. Like, David doesn't think he's lying. No, what he's doing, no. he I he believes it one thousand. Reading through the book, he absolutely believes yeah. what he's talking about. Yes, Corey knows he's lying, but wants to keep suing yeah. because people are damaging his ego. But want it, but wants it just to be why when everybody accepts. No, I'm telling the truth. Both David and Corey have these absolutely insane egos, but they're both based on different things like david yeah. is kind of the the more harmless side of things especially now yeah david's just trying to be right Corey wants to be rich yeah that's exactly it one's yeah. doing it for profit the other one thinks he's a prophet he's mentally ill <laughs> <For real. laughs> miss you davy you know over time i'm i'm spending time with these people and you know over time you're spending time rogers having drinks and he lets it out that Three years when he was living on Skid Row to support what? him and his girlfriend's He's addicted uh, to, to dope? heroin habit. Back in the they day. Used to, That's pretty cool. He used to roll what a story. And steal their money. Dude, it now, was for heroin. You, he's, who, who cares? He's about to accuse Roger of murder again. Well, whatever. He's for heroin. It's not just robbing them. You beat their ass and then you pat them down and you take Duggan. what they have on them. And... He told me he didn't think everyone survived the encounter. What fun him. dinner conversation. Gave me huge pause. I'm not sure he survived. And then later <laughs> on, when we were being cyber-stalked by like, the what? journalist. <laughs> um, He's a fucking yeah. heroin addict. And what? I'm like, I killed a man. Yeah, what are you talking about, Dave? Like, hey, you know, I think he survived. Roger sent wink, me wink. a message in writing. That uh, that is how messages are sent. Yes, you know what? In right. Well, his he's a te telepathic. I'm thinking about contacting my old Antifa. I'm gonna kill you, and like I did what? that other dude. They have people. Of course, he thinks Antifa is coming after him. Murdered. And I'm thinking dude, about dude. You're not that important. Uh, you're not even that pro-life. They don't care. He's got Antifa like hitters. I don't, I don't know all his thug terms, but that's <laughs> his what he thug is. terms. Jesus Christ. Maybe he is a racist. <laughs> I think that's, he is, dude. There, that's one of those, you know, iffy. He, he said it with a little so that, extra. Hey, did sure he shot. ever say there were minorities then, in, the, in the secret space program? No. Year, there were Mayans, I think, but they were the enemy. Oh, they were illegals. My racketeering attorney, see, or see, attorney spaceship. Val. See, see, we needed to build the rock worse. ship because it is and too hot. It looked like someone went out of their way. The writer said the rock will fly if it is too hot. Nearly killing her. <sighs> He's really nailing these dramatic pauses, though. So this was his plan, is he was going to come on and be like, uh, I didn't actually lie. I'm going to keep suing. By the way, these people tried to kill a bunch of people. Yeah. Yeah, they had, they're going to have me killed. And this was going to win the sure, audience back over. Pretty sure you said like 10 minutes ago, like, they're never going to assassinate me. And he's like, Antifa's trying to kill when me. the police caught up to the person, they ended up being someone who was a part of the Crips that had some very interesting... Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Fucking, he's blooded <laughs> up, <laughs> getting chased down by the Crips. Antifa and the Crips are trying Jesus. to kill Jesus Corey. Christ. Had spent time in prison up here in Denver and was... Uh, Hell yeah. A gangbanger here Hell in, yeah, here dude. Denver. And what he was doing in Fort, Fort Worth, Worth, that's an odd synchronicity. Anyone Hell yeah. Guess. But that's just one Both of the things places I've been this Roger year. Richards Hell about. yeah, dude. Uh, Double synchronicity. Wire 
I said the crib. Um, <laughs> charging people that was for you. DVDs yeah. It was me in all blue. Them to them. Uh, that included payments. I was for just dressed like a Smurf for Halloween. Shipping, and he thought I was the crib. And I hit the gritty, and he thought I was government. throwing up gang signs. <laughs> There's all sorts of stuff that's too much to go into here. So I'll do it later in court. Stop spinning in the circles. Leon, Leon Isaac Kennedy. I think he's trying to do the illusion he's moving. You have done your best to destroy me. This is a very weird to thing to do. I this is too. like if David took out his phone and was like, this is to the king of the squirrels. That, <laughs> You've done your best to destroy me. That's what I'm saying. This is like, literally his like Supreme Gentleman video. This, this is, is a, the last video before he goes on a shooting rampage. Yeah, this feels like something the Joker would do before like trying yeah. to destroy Gotham. I've seen enough last videos. This yeah. has that... It's uh, got the makings. It's got that feeling to it. I am going to win this lawsuit, and then... That would be I the least surprising ending to all this. With oh, yeah, man, that would make total sense. He is Not a soldier, that, after all. Yeah, he's got PTSD. You are going... You and your archive... <laughs> oh, flashback! <laughs> ah. From his childhood. <laughs> no, Your Honor, I... I killed my wife because I thought she was a gook. That, that that may have been the strangest thing he claimed, that entire thing, was that his PTSD, he did have it. It was just from yeah, childhood. His, his severe childhood beatings. It's against me and possibly... No, no, killing men is easy. You've ever been approved. yelled at? It's difficult. You've ever, you ever been in time out? Yeah, difficult to understand. I was, I, a did pris- I was a prisoner of war in my <laughs> yeah. own house. I did I'm 10 minutes in the hole. <laughs> to add to your legacy. <laughs> And it's going to be on your IMDb profile. I had to go to bed without dinner I'm once. Going to yeah, sure never everyone. recovered. You don't know the no, pain I've endured. Monster in your own mother saying, don't do that. Creature's clothing. You and really then are. slapping your ass. It's very disgusting. You tried to talk David Wilcock into giving him 50% of his business. Oh, thank God, and you David. Told him he should consider That's one of my I biggest concerns for him is he gets <laughs> fucked out of his money because he already probably has. And then... You tried, he, and and apparently he had a lot more money to get fucked out of than we thought. If Britney Spears is under a conservative ship, David someone needs it. David needs it. No one cares about David. I'll do it. I'll do uh, it. We, we volunteered to do many things. I will help David, literally in any way I can. At this point, I don't want to see David end up doing what Corey's doing. Yeah, right we now. know where this leads, and it's not good. We don't like it. To get. James Gilliland from East SETI to do the same thing, and you were going to manage and run everything. You the saucy D bitch. Oh, he has them. The <laughs> he's doing like the sassy head He's getting into too. it, bro. He's a very theatrical today. Yeah. With the it's whole like a lot cobra being charmed. Especially many of the person. Uh, I also like to always remember that he had to upload. This, this video, movie. do the title, the thumbnail, everything. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of he work. He had a lot of time to think this through, and the whole time was like, nah, this was good. This, I, I nailed this. I nailed this, bro. I killed it. I crushed. They, I see everyone looking at them with sparkles in their eyes, looking up to them, but as being a public figure myself, really getting to know them in the background when they drop their mask, none of these people are who they say they are. You mean like when you admit <laughs> to lying about everything yeah, in the courtroom? Like, yeah. like you just did? Yeah, I love that he's calling everyone else alcoholics. Like, I drank occasionally, okay? They were the alcoholics. And then he did tell the story of where he got, like, blackout drunk on an airplane. Yeah, yeah, and freaked out. But he said that's only because his wife found out he was cheating on her. Yeah, that was extenuating circumstances. Crazy sex parties that go on at some of these events. Hell yeah. Damn, dude. Uh, we got to get invited to MC this shit. I know. We're missing out. Abused, I want to do fucking crystal bitch orgies. Followers. That you sounds know, rad. That they can heal them with their body. See? I mean, that's just oh, I want some hot ladies to come heal me with their body. That sounds fantastic. Everyone in this community, but even the women, that they're very open sexually. Hell yeah, that dude. I would definitely be propositioned. Hell I, yeah, dude. If Corey can clean up, we fucking crush, dude. And Fuck. Sometimes they don't. Something well. of a secret uh, no. super soldier myself. Yeah, contact. I haven't, I haven't my, talked about it before. before. Look, I'm retarded, I lady. Cosmic disclosure. I was with That's David more superior than any soldier. And he contact at the Corey. desert he needs said, to hit us I want up. You to sit at this bar. We'll do it uh, for half. I'll be back. I have to go and talk to a few people. So I'm sitting there and I'm drinking a beer. And you know, and I've had seven or eight. <laughs> yeah, you know, just another <laughs> night, a little nightcap. And um, he had told me earlier about... You like how his wife shows back up when he starts talking about being propositioned at a bar? I like that he also well, immediately saw her and yeah. like freaked out for a second. He was like, ah, oh, it's just her. ...about how people have this whole scam about healing you with their body. 
and that's called often, sensual healing. You know, it's just really something you should. Stay it's just from. fucking. <laughs> and I chuckled it off. But you chuckled away the pussy. Later, I'm sitting at the bar <laughs> and I see these two girls walking around in harem outfits, approaching men only. <laughs> what? The they, they showed up. They, they laughed it off. They showed up to contact in the desert as a harem. That's whatever, awesome. Whatever a harem outfit is, they were wearing it. They're I don't dressed know what like that fucking is. I dream of genie. I, I don't know. I, what, I don't know what that is. But from the goblin that ran the FTX books, it, yeah. apparently <laughs> she likes imperial Chinese harems. Talking to them, and then they catch eyes with me. Those are some crazy and bitches, though. They're probably there to rob you. Like Let's be honest. You know, oh, all right, it is like seventies or I dream of genie. Uh, you know, I was thinking how that's I had, never, I had never been to an event before, and I didn't had never seen this type of kooky. Damn, people. first event and you got double pussy. And Hell they walked yeah, right dude. up to me, and they said, "We sense your trauma. We Do you want to fuck for five hundred dollars? Our body." Right, uh, someone, someone, fucking clip that. <laughs> well, this is getting weird. Why is he talking about fucking at these? He's just talking about getting pussy at these fucking con- the conferences. It's another narcissist move where he kind of he's just going on this rant, and then somewhere along the line, he sees a spot he can shoot the gap to support his ego. He can kind of like bolster it back up. I love that he's just like, look. I might have cheated on my wife once, but do you know how much pussy I was getting thrown at me? I could have cheated yeah. constantly. On the regular, dude. Yeah, I was actually showing a lot of strength. We can heal you. And at the same time, they, they both went, with our body. <laughs> and I tried my hardest not uh-huh. to laugh. Remember, he uploaded the video, you know, said, no, did all you. the shit for it, and yeah, still it thought it was a good idea. had to wait for it to yeah. like, upload. He's you know, like, that, nah, that this doesn't happen instantaneously. It takes th- a minute. This is a smart decision. dollars to be healed with Oh, of course. Okay, I was fucking right, except they were cheaper. It was only 200 bucks for two women? Yeah, what a bargain. That's, you know, look to gift horse in the mouth. Yeah, come on. What's my stipend for hosting the event? I kind of learned from that lesson, but... uh, You kind of learned from being propositioned by whores? People are willing to spread rumors (laughs) What'd that teach you? you? That Uh, he should fuck his assistant. Yeah, (laughs) gee... I'll do it for care. free. Then people hear it and they go, well, that's my truth now. I'm not paying. Who do I look like, David? lie. They're doing the same thing to James Gilliland right now because he won't back up this group that's trying to take over the narrative. So they've turned take on Take over James. the narrative. They've even turned on several of their own, including the person that delivered the original threat to me. This community is, I don't know. It's completely compromised. I wish that wasn't the case. You did it. it. I mean, yeah, dude. You, so, who's res- pray tell be- who's responsible yeah, for some of this demise we keep hearing about? He, undeniably, whatever you think of him, Corey and David are the ones that took this whole yeah, alternative sphere to the next level. It's magic and bird. And then the only reason it collapsed is certain things are not billion uh, dollar ideas, no matter what uh, Corey's trying to say. Certain things... Can only the foundation they're built upon is not strong enough to sustain the weight that comes with trying to profit off them to such an extent. Yeah. Because for an idea to be worth as much money as he's saying, enough people have to find out about it yeah. to, to put money into the pot. Yep. The problem is, uh I I hung out with giant blue chickens on Mars is a fucking absurd thing to claim. And there's only yeah. so many people who are going to hear that and go, Okay, I'm riding with you. Yeah. So at the only reason I think this community completely collapsed is because more and more people started to become aware that there was a whole group of people who thought they were hanging out with giant blue chickens on Mars and enough reasonable people got reached for like, no, no, you're not no, doing no, you're, that. You're what? Yeah, that's fucking nonsense. Do you have any proof? And once we reached the do you have any proof phase, we witnessed the the implosion yeah. of, of all this. I mean, we knew once David and him broke up, it was going to end badly for both of them. Boy, they, were we right. They Shaq and Kobe did. If they'd yeah. have just stayed yeah. together. Now, I hope the David's alliance. not the one who crashes an airplane. They got greedy. <laughs> That'd be hilarious if he just dies in the same helicopter. Yes. Or he just dies in one of those batshit vehicles he's making. Just a bullshit, <laughs> a bullshit prototype. Chicken He's like, out. let me take it for a test just drive. Just crashes, crashes a dirigible and, into and a dies tower. dies immediately. It's up to us. Like the people in Brazil are doing. You've got to get out on the streets and be the change. Quit looking to all of these public figures. Yeah, go fucking revolution, you losers. Are just feeding Why aren't you shooting right your now. congressman? <laughs> it's not a hopeful situation. Not, you, I'm out here I'm doing... I'm Corey Gooden. I yeah. approve this guys, message. I'm out here doing everything, and you guys are doing I'm nothing. i do my part. Oh. You're right. Through, yeah, I'm fighting through these lawsuits movies, that I initiated. Books, yeah, you can't even go lone gunman on someone. The mass consciousness. 
And at this point... I mean, that is what he was trying to do by sending people to observe the other guy's house, right? Yeah, he was hoping someone would kill him, yes. Right, he can't yeah. really claim, like, why <laughs> else would you do... Why else would you need to know where a guy is in a different country yeah. if you're not going to try and bring harm to that individual? Well, then to be like, no, I was just there to threaten him. Yeah, like, no, I just like taking pictures. Well, that's usually how murder <laughs> starts in a lot of scenarios. That is the first... The first yeah. step to murder is some form of, you know, intimidation. Yeah, tactic. prelude. It's a prelude of sorts. It's the foreplay to the murder. Those in the community that don't believe my testimony. No, we believed on, it. You told the truth, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> you know, my cosmic disclosure testimony. Oh, anymore. yeah, that's oh, a lot. That's the only one that counts. No, under oath, I'm, sorry, I'm not even Christian. It'd be funny if he was like, no, Your Honor, bring out my comic book. I need yeah. to swear on that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care anymore. I would have just claimed it's my religion. Uh, that's kind of what he's doing, then you right? Can, well, you can trademark that. Yeah. And you could also be like, no, that's my IP, but I believe it. Well, that's what I'm saying with the meditation. I think he's saying, like, I can't trademark delusions, but if I claim I channeled this entity while meditating, I can become a spiritual figurehead. Yeah, but if it's religion, I think you get more protection. People think uh, people that are so easily misled and... Uh, convinced you mean your audience? Uh, discernment when <laughs> all how you made all your money. What resonates? Yeah, we're trying through. to pick them up ourselves. They're so dumb. They'll just gonna, give you money. Nothing good's gonna come out of that. So why yeah, do you moving, keep doing them? Working with Mike Laskowski, we're going to be building out Ascension Works TV. We're Hell yeah, dude! I'll remote that produce. Yeah, that's the holler at me, player. We can we can do some. That's going to go great for him yeah. <laughs> to build a TV channel after. Well, you see, by deposition comes out where you say everything's a lie. By TV channel, he means he's going to set up a, a streaming uh, area in his house yeah. to use to tell their Twitch story. channel. Yeah, he's going to be a Twitch streamer to protect their intellectual property because people will steal it. It this community is. Can one like steal lies? It's an interesting philosophical in question. Community when it comes to. Content it's like a fake Chinese virus. But we're going to be working with the community to it, help them do their. It is kind of difficult position to navigate because, like, if it is, you know, obviously you can't take a fictional story and just re like duplicate that and continue to sell it. Yeah, you got to change some names. Which I I guess that's what he's going with. Like, I couldn't just reprint the Harry Potter books and start selling them. So yeah, it'd be trying... like if you just wrote a separate edition that was a different student in like Hufflepuff. But it's it's a different it's a weird line to try and balance because he's if a event truly occurred, like anyone can write a book about World War II. That's not like a copyrighted event. Mm -hmm. So why then wouldn't other people be able to talk about his experiences? They would. If that's, they were real. So now, that's the problem he set himself up yeah, for. Yes. So now we're in this weird spot where you can't really trademark. Yeah. Truth. No, no one else did it, but but me. So they're lying, but, yeah, but you, I'm not. You can't trademark reality. Yeah, I would hope. Well, I mean, you can if your reality is a religion. Yeah. This is, and their own low budget television shows. Plus, you shows. get tax break. And I'm going to be helping select people through my distributors and new. Corey, you have not funders. put out one project uh, on your own. How are you going to help distribute things? Yeah, I like the idea that he's going to help fund a bunch of like UFO podcasts and be like, you need to say nice things, things about me. <laughs> okay, uh, there's plenty of other dudes who talk a lot of shit. They make I need to. I need to fight back. And in a way to where him and their Mike Wazowski is protected. To start their own shit. And what's the That's gay counselor's name? Needs to do. It's oh fuck! I forgot about that guy. I always forget his name. Him and his Harley jacket. That's really Jordan all Saban. I have to say. Yeah, yeah, it is. I look forward to bringing all of y'all new content on some very ra rather big uh, platforms. Uh, the reality you guys ever heard show, YouTube? None of y'all are gonna miss. I guarantee it, because I'm going to show a side of uh, disclosure that no oh, one's Oh God, ever please before. just spill the tea. No that would could. be fun. I know what it's like to be a community member, and I know what it's like. We could watch the uh, the teaser for his reality show right after this. Ends. It's only it's like four minutes or the, something. Uh, Surprised he's already got a teaser, to be honest. It's shit. Machine. And it is a I machine. mean, I've seen his past one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't just use B-roll and stock footage. Giant industry, and it's all about the money.
and I'm yes, we myself. know you guys were and making I'm insane making sure amounts of money. That's also why he's suing for money. Yeah, I don't think anyone can be mad about that. Be like, you guys are making crazy money. Good for you. Well, him being like, look, this is all bullshit because it's all about the money. Now I have three lawsuits yeah. to attend to where I'm trying to to recoup money. Yeah, I know how I get this money back. I'm not a victim of this machine anymore. Uh -huh. Sweet. So that's all I have to say. Please is circulate that, this video around that, to it's everything. all the dumbasses out there that are We're already here. About yeah. Shut up. <laughs> We've been made. here for years. Yeah, you retard. are celebrating. They are the actual LARPs that have stolen my information. It's like, hello, if I'm fake. Hello. You're, how does your information legit? Since this is really how he's going to hold people term. hostage. He's going to be like, if I'm fake, you're fake. So you better fucking figure this out. He also can't. Like, the only way he could be the only real one, and not real, the only way he could he could hold a monopoly over this information is if he made it all up. Yeah. Because, again, if something is real, like, if we both said we went to a specific high school, but I made up what the high school was, I would know you were lying because I lied first. Yeah. But you, yeah. you could only know that if you were the one lying to begin with. So it's not quite the same. Like He's I don't know fucked. what I don't know what gotcha situation he thinks he has people in, but it's all predicated I, on him being a liar first. I mean, he seem I mean, he seems to know that, but also not willing to accept it as reality. He. He's because he's answering these things like he in the deposition was like, no, I believe everything I've said. And it's like, dude, you didn't say that at all. You said the exact <laughs> opposite, actually. I think he, he like knows it, but somehow can't. Well, understand the it, consequences of knowing it if he accepts it then it changes what he's doing then everything collapses yeah he's got to lie to himself i put a lot of these people in a really heavy catch-22 position and one including yourself i think it's more like so, blackmail like I said, believe to be honest believe. at this point we don't care we've done our mission in this community the community collapsed damn failed the alliance collapsed and failed. Damn. You know, it's up to us. Just, to they fucking just mission. lost, bro. And they failed. I wish look, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Their mission. Sometimes the, the alliance that was supposed to save the earth fails. And uh, The only way to, to, to save the earth now is to watch my reality show. I knew those Dorito-headed aliens weren't going to win this for us. Yeah, what the fuck happened to them? They look too goofy. We they got eaten. <laughs> we haven't heard about the Golden Triangle beings in years. They were I haven't seen a, a fucking single update about those motherfuckers. I think they bounced when the blue avians bounced. They I have, don't remember. They're, they're warring games. The storyline is far too bullshit. convoluted for me to recall it. The crypt of, of the blue chicken. The blue chicken crypts are very dangerous. Well, we Everything the got Dorito overridden by David being said, raped as a banana sandwich. Lying. Yeah, and the Latin Dorito-headed kings. <laughs> the mass consciousness, the community, we're going to trick them into manifesting it. Is Doritos even a Spanish word? What the fuck? <laughs> that's it kind of sounds I've always assumed it was Spanish for something that's but I've never taken the time to google it well because you got like taquito <laughs> it's the I don't mean, mean small right so well, and they're they're tortilla chips so it's a small a dorito would be a small door whatever d-o-r stands for does it mean small triangle Small door, funny. small door doesn't make sense <laughs> well, no no I meant whatever door means in Spanish oh, what would oh. be small but I think maybe maybe we just stumbled across hold on I have, I just have, I have, I've always thought it was Spanish, but I've, I've never taken the time to confirm it. That feels like one of those things we would have recognized far sooner, but maybe, oh, right. well, I mean, we That's should what, have. That was it for me. That was it for me, guys. So anyway, thank you for listening. Make sure you're welcome, Corey. spread far and wide. And uh, I'm sure you'll be very happy we did this. I look forward to bringing you new reports. I've got more reports about what's gone on on the moon. There has been, uh, there's been Some things going on the moon. Missions. Huh. That uh, Dorito means little bits of gold in Spanish. All right. It's got to be Spanish. I won again. Son of a bitch. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> that's, a... the, that's the most startling revelation <laughs> we've come across today. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Y'all yeah, know Doritos was Spanish? <laughs> for, Why? For little bits of gold. Yeah. Uh, destroyed. He's huh. like, there's new moon shit Med going on. Med Med He's like, but did you know Doritos were Spanish? Lunar, Lunar Operations Command. Um, I'm they stunned. Destroyed a lot of <laughs> their manufacturing equipment. This is something you gotta be retarded yeah. to think of. A interesting type of raid. Uh, there are other interesting things that I'm looking. I hope he calls David's book bullshit. Actually, going that'd on be funny. In uh, the secret space program, I got lost on the the Dorito website. And, uh, it's quite I'll a revelation. It is. 
Um, I should also be recording with Sean Stone. I don't know um, who that is. I don't I can't know. Remember either. the name of his platform? But please Google Sean. Well, Stone. that's good that you're going to be on. Front. And, uh, it's going to be on, but you can't remember the name of his platform. Tonight, he's only allowed on Bitch Shoot. All right, I love you guys, and I look forward to bringing you more information soon. Try not to be so emotionally wrapped up in all of this. Uh huh. Quit using emotion. <laughs> Try so not to get so Stop mad. Using this. I see a lot of people knocking on the old bucket. No problem with that. Yeah. Can you guys chill? I get it. All right, that's enough of that. Let's watch his uh, is quickly. We'll just run through this. Go through this, and we can take a break and do part five. Yeah. The most controversial interdimensional extraterrestrial. Oh shit! We covered this guy. Hey, you, you stole remember that him? From us? Yeah, that dude sucked. Yeah, the dude who was on fucking uh, Anderson Cooper yeah. talking about the the blue avian. I remember watching. I was watching. Yeah, I saw the clip. I was like, what the fuck is this? He said he believed a group of extraterrestrials. Oh right, this was when they were going hard on the QAnon shit. And this is these yep. retards really have to have seen that that was a mistake now. Because they're both just like, I really don't want to talk politics St. Morris, guys. Like, I, can we just move on? I will say Q perhaps comes up in David's book. Oh, fuck, so David. You were out. Were helping Q and you were the out. The idea that that is an actual idea that some of these followers <laughs> believe is just... Notice how Corey's super <laughs> high-budget... Yeah, it is a uh, reality video show. recording. It's him his recording a TV. iPhone in it's his not, living room. Yeah, it's not even a screen rip. I, I do not understand. Just I had several other insiders who were telling me about this, but Look nobody wanted to come fucking forward. Hair. Nobody wanted to go on the record. Corey comes out and didn't want to go on the record Ah, poor either. Jenny. This cost That's her her show, guys. Yeah. You ruined he, uh, it for her. He got, he got out it. And he got into it. So I was going to say Corey because, you know, well, he he's can't seen talk. stuff that most people... I would say almost all people haven't seen bases on other planets, portal travel. She really is just the crafts, quintessential dumb aliens. blonde crystal bitch. You don't strike me as the type of guy all, that would be like, oh, you know what? All this footage is from like years ago. This is all well, from like 2017. They, well, it's because they, once they had to start doing it themselves, shit, like, they look like shit. I'll do it. Who never stopped receiving In a June 24 appearance on Coast to Coast Radio. Look at this shitty said, audio. Quote, that two or three of these papers have been leaked onto the internet. Been leaked. By someone on the Bell By Bay. someone Davis with was terrible audio microphone. Was good. Yeah, what the f- All right, I don't even want to listen to the rest of this. Fuck that. That's, uh, so everyone can look forward to that. Corey's astonishing new TV show with, uh, poor audio quality. Look, as much as we tease David, at least his production value has never plummeted. When the the evil spirits are not attacking his cameras, yes, it, it yeah. usually works out well. Well, look, the spirits are are fickle. All right. Well, we uh, we're we're gonna have to continue. You guys will be getting part five of the deposition. Yes. Next. Very very short. Do we even outro? Are we part five? Will be this one. It's gonna be this episode. Are we gonna right? Are no. We, I mean, we can split it. Yeah. Let's split it. All right. All right. Who to who? Mamba out. <laughs>